Now to talk to us about the significance of the day is the human rights activist Rosa Namises. A very good evening, Ms. Namises, and thank you very much for joining us. Good evening. Now, the, the country has witnessed incidents of violations of human rights, in particular perpetrated against women and children. How do you think a day like this and beyond can be used to change the status quo? Um, actually, I think um, days like this are just one in 24 months or 12 months um, of the year. And, and because they are only one-time occurrences, I think days like this should be multiplied or duplicated like in every day so that when the day comes that we have to celebrate, we need to know what we have been celebrating for and not just wait for a day like this. But I must say it is important that Days like this are, are set out to focus on what is happening in the community. But days like this should really be used to re-strategize, to reflect, and to bring ourselves together and take it from there again. And not only maybe have the public meeting, but use days like this <coughs> to interact more strongly with communities, to interact more strongly with those who have survived violence and those who have perpetrated the violence, right. so that we can together talk more deeper in terms of new strategies. Because after the 10th December now, we are going to celebrate again next year, if given by the Spirit. Right. then that would be a year. So not all of us are active through the year. And therefore, survivors that we are speaking for, perpetrators that we are going against, really have not been informed very well. Okay. And so I think they must be the ones coming yeah. in. Yeah. Ms. Uh, Namases, of late we have seen men's conferences being hosted what, in your opinion, do you think the impact uh, will be about uh, in protecting and respecting the rights of women? Uh -huh. um, it is a good thing that people have focused attention to the main conferences, bringing men together. Um, what must now happen is to break down these groups into smaller, smaller groups into smaller segments so that um, the men can be given the opportunity to bring out their point of view. Are you there with me? Yes, ma'am. Ms. Nami says, I can hear you. Uh, oh, you can hear me? Yes, we can. So that the men can be provided with the opportunity to get more information right. and more uh, intense training and then be able to willingly uh, commit themselves to work around their personal mm. angers and their <clears throat> personal attitudes and their personal understanding so that that can make a difference mm. between them and the women. Because right. it's only an informed man and uh, a man that has access to information and that is, uh, that is willing to make a change that can help uh, to reduce violence. So for women also, now that there's enough men's conferences, that we all support that process and ensure that it's not just a lip service, but yeah. that we really take it on and, and work with the men and support their willingness. Because it's not all men immediately. So maybe there might be four or five men's conferences, but right. from there we might only get six men out there. So we need to see who are the real men that we can work with, yeah. Right. So now, Ms. Namases, what do you think it will take to reduce human rights violations in the country, irrespective of who, of who the perpetrator is? Mm. I think what would it take to reduce? There is a big challenge with us as human beings. And I think we need to bring down certain negative 
elements that we are seeing. Um, the, we call all the time it's drug abuse, we say it's alcohol abuse, but I think it is our relation, it is our, about us, it's about how I behave towards the other person. It is about how I understand the next person, how we relate to each other is very, very important and critical in this time. Mm -hmm. And that uh, um, consciousness that we can start to bring to us and as me, the individual, will start to help me see the next person much more differently, much more um, peaceful and maybe therefore right. be a different person in, in the country. Because I don't think until we understand ourselves and understand what it means to be safe and secure, we will not make it. All right. Ms. Anami says that's all the time that we have, but thank you very much uh, for your yes. insight. You're welcome and be peaceful. Bye-bye. That was uh, Ms. Rosa Namisa's human rights activist talking to us about the Human Rights Day and Women's Day commemorated today.